A city in turmoil and tonight change. The voters spoke loudly and clearly on election day, forcing change on the city council. We're not very happy with the current leadership and we think that Rivera Beach deserves a change. We need change around here. Contact 5 investigator Wanda Moore joins us live with a shift in power. Wanda? You guys good. Now, ever since City Council decided to fire City Manager Jonathan Evans in September, people in Riviera Beach came up to me telling me that they felt like their voices were not being heard by their elected officials. So yesterday, they took action at the ballot box. A landslide win for Julia Botel. Tonight, the people have spoken. The people have spoken for change. Botel defeated 10-year incumbent Don Pardo in District 4 in Singer Island. The race wasn't even close. Botel won with 79% of the vote, Pardo not even getting over a thousand votes. Voters did not forget Pardo's decision to join forces with Terrence Davis and Lynn Hubbard to fire city manager Jonathan Evans. I certainly believe that had a lot to do with it. It energized people to come. Kashamba Miller Anderson fought the firing and won re-election easily. But with Pardo's loss, the power on council will shift. No longer will Davis, Hubbard and Pardo form a majority voting bloc. That trio also joined together to hire James Polk as a city manager without an interview or background check. That decision blew up one day later when the Contact 5 investigators discovered Hoke was once arrested for domestic battery and had been fired from a similar position in Wellington. But Pardo stood by that decision. There are some people in this room who have been convicted or accused of things much more, well, much worse than what this gentleman was arrested for. Yeah, let's bring us back no, to I'm sorry, ma'am. If you want to discuss it, it's going to be discussed. It needs to be, it's all or nothing. Botel will be sworn in during next week's city council meeting. As for Hubbard and Davis, they're up for re-election next year, but there's also still the recall effort underway, which hopes to remove those two from office immediately. That's in the courts right now. We'll bring you the latest information on that when we get it. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Wanda Moore, WPTV News Channel 5.